So today is my last day in Kauai. Uncle Dan and Aunt Jody just left for work, and their Aunt Jody was like, "Here's all of our food. Help yourself to you know breakfast or whatever." And I was like, "That's a lot of food, okay." Um, but this stuff, I'm not exactly sure what all is in it besides the obvious mango, orange, and passion fruit. But it is really good. I need a spoon, or just maybe I can just drink it. <laughs> It's really good though. You guys, mango orange passion fruit. I gotta remember that for when I get home. They probably won't have it at home, but it's so good. It's worth it. Moco. This is Moco. This is Uncle Dan and Aunt Jody's indoor cat. They also have Max. He's an outdoor cat, so I don't know what he's up to. Last night he left us a bird on the porch and they were like, oh no, he hasn't done that in forever. And I was like, he's a cat. He probably has been and just hasn't been bringing them to you. But they are some very adorable, nice kitties. So I am now in the Lihui Airport trying to get a space a hop to San Francisco and then to Seattle and then to go home. And they just got on the intercom and said, oh yeah, uh, something's wrong with the engine number one. We're not quite sure what it is. We're trying to fix it right now, but the flight might get canceled. So yeah. And I'm like, I mean, on the bright side, if I'm stuck, I'm stuck in Hawaii. There are plenty of worse places to be stuck. So the plane is still broken. They said it was a problem with the thrust reversal paddle on the engine. It was bent, and they're not exactly sure why it's bent, so they're trying to figure that out. Um, an hour and a half ago, at 2.30, they said they would give the engineers till 4 to figure it out or cancel the flight. It's now 4.15, and they just said, they are counting the minutes, and they will let us know at 4. And the flight was supposed to take off at 2.10. Yeah. Probably not going to get home on time. And look at that! I'm still in Hawaii! How did that happen? Wasn't I supposed to leave yesterday? Yes, well, you know, airplanes break on occasion. Usually when they're sitting on the ground, somehow. And uh, that's what happened. My plane broke, flight was canceled, so I went back to my uncle and aunt's house, which I walked away from about 10 minutes ago. Of course, now that it's been quiet for like 10 minutes, all the cars go driving by. Look at that suspension. Who needs that much suspension? I mean, I'm not super familiar with this island, but most of the roads are paved. <laughs> Anyways, so I am in Hawaii for, what is today, Wednesday? Well, let's see, I flew in Monday, hiked Tuesday, tried to get out Wednesday. So today's Thursday? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am in the process of trying to walk back to the bus stop to go get on the bus, to go to the airport, to try and get home again. Take two. The bright side is if this plane also breaks or is the flight is canceled or anything like that, then I can also uh, come back again. And we can go out for fish tacos like we wanted to on Tuesday, but couldn't because apparently fish taco night is Mondays when we went to some other restaurant because we thought it was Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's actually Monday and Thursday. Trying to just stay out of the way of all these cars. It was not this many cars a moment ago. I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna keep walking for now. So, you might be noticing the fact that I am still in Hawaii. So yesterday, the flight was cancelled and the buses worked fine. Today, the flight left just a little early and the buses did not work fine. In fact, we were stopped in Wailua, I think is how you pronounce the name of the town, for a good 30 minutes just sitting on a bridge waiting to go somewhere, which caused me to miss um, some of the shuttle to get to the airport, which caused me to miss the plane. 
and I took the exact same buses that I did yesterday, so I don't know why I didn't really think that it would be so delayed that I would be an hour late and miss my plane. That was not intentional, as much as it may seem. Yes, I just got stuck in Hawaii twice now. Alright, so I haven't been in Hawaii long and I don't speak Hawaiian, but I'm in this restaurant and I ordered the mini sub. This doesn't look like a mini sub to me. Alright, well day three of being stuck in Kauai. Let's try and get out of here and like actually do it on time properly this time and not have the plane break or miss the anything. Let's just do it properly and hope it works. Because I really want to go home. Uncle Dan and Antony are really nice, but I really want to go home. About time we actually get on the plane. And we got an exit row.
So here we are in the Seattle airport. Got one more connection to make, and that is to get me back to Alaska. So far, we're successful, but I've got a five hour layover. Yeah, my plane doesn't leave from here to Anchorage until 6, 6 10, something like that. It's like just after 6 a.m., I think. And it is just now 1 a.m. So I now have five hours, well, four hours really, to myself in the Seattle airport when nothing is open because it's the middle of the night. And yeah, this will be fun, he said sarcastically. Everything is closed. Everything is closed when it's after midnight. Everything is closed. Cause it's after midnight. This sucks. So I'm coming up here on the main area in the Seattle Tacoma airport. And I'm really hoping that Wendy's is open because I am starving and thirsty. But if it's not, you know, no surprise. Like I said, it's after midnight. Everything's closed. So it turns out, not everything closed. Starbucks is open. Wendy's, unfortunately not open, but Qdoba is open. And then I was told that there's McDonald's over there that is also open in the middle of the night, all night. How convenient is that? You know, it's only the one place I never go in this airport because none of my airlines fly into that space. So, yeah. Well, let's go find out about this McDonald's that might be open all night. Because, like I said, I am freaking starving at McDonald's. And I'm not biased, even though I work there. McDonald's has really good breakfast. Their lunch menu items suck, but their breakfast is really good. So, yeah, we're gonna go check out McDonald's. Can I play the Hallelujah Chorus, or is that copyrighted? I honestly have no idea. It's probably copyrighted. Ensuring laboratory sound detectors. Federal law does require that customers comply with all crew member instructions, light and signs, and posted placards. It was snowy and rough and all the way down to the very last second and then we had a really smooth landing, which was really nice. But, you know, there's a whole bunch of snow outside so I'm really glad that I, you know, parked inside the parking garage where my car is not being snowed on. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to dig it out in the huge drifts that are outside. Oh, I'm so exhausted. Here we are, home sweet home, and heavy snow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, 
It's still snowing. And I have to go to work now. Mm, I don't want to go to work. But I gotta pay the bills. Why? Why can't I go back to Hawaii?